Hello, everyone. Thank you for following Network Optics. And thank you for joining uh, this webinar. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Today, um, I have a chance uh, to show you and provide a demo, a quick demo of our uh, new features, which are available uh, in our latest release. Uh, as you can notice, uh, our marketing team did a great job and we have rebranded version and rebranded icons, uh, rebranded presentations with our new logos. Uh, so a great job was done by our marketing team. And uh, uh, today I prefer not to use the slides. I'm I I I'm jumped uh, I jumped to our demo system, uh, which is uh, which is covering uh, video surveillance for uh, apartment building. So uh, it's quite active. So many people are crossing the roads, and uh, uh, as you can see, uh, it's so many people here. So it's it will be quite nice to provide you an examples of, of the new features. Uh, so today we will discuss uh, our new dashboard for health monitoring, which allows uh, to provide a better service and more quickly uh, find uh, all the details about your current system and the status. Uh, I will show you an advantages of our embedded Chromium browser and push notifications. And also we will cover uh, several items uh, during this demo. So let's start with uh, Chromium browser. Uh, as, as you can test and you can check by yourself that uh, currently an X witness desktop client uh, uses a fill featured browser and that makes it easier to use soft integrations with third party video analytics, uh, with third party hardware interfaces, and uh, it allows uh, integration with custom web based uh, services. So uh, basically, you can use this Chromium browser even to uh, to go online shopping if you like, if you prefer, but uh, our integrators in most cases are uh, using this Chromium browser for, you know, for delivering special digital mapping for customers. For example, one of our integrators did uh, an integration and they uh, created a digital map for a customer. They put the GPS tracking uh, detectors on the cars. They also put detectors uh, to monitor uh, road conditions and weather conditions on the uh, high roads. So it, it's quite great. Also, you can use our Chromium browser, uh, for example, to make a connection between uh, third party video analytics software developers, and you just uh, it's, it's very simple. You just open and create uh, a new web page. You put uh, an URL of, of the server with video analytics and you have a chance to enjoy everything, all the features which are provided by uh, video analytics uh, software developers. So as you can see, this browser, it's quite great. You can even enjoy YouTube videos. You can also download in the files and video playback. So quite great. <laughs> Strange. system unexpectedly 
was shut down. So for the web page, you can also uh, use this Chromium browser for uh, getting the support from our NX engineers. It's easy. I, I, I hope uh, all of you know about our support portal and uh, it's very easy uh, to go through the website and uh, it's very easy to use uh, a forum for developers. For example, how it works, you, you can just type advantages of Phoenix and you will see, you have a chance to see all the information related to your request. So it's quite great. Also, uh, updated browsers helps us to save time for camera management. So you can go to camera settings and you can visit web page to make needed changes in your camera settings. So it save a lot of time. It's very useful and it's great. And it's always like NX weakness uh, follows the main thing. It should be very easy uh, to do uh, all the settings uh, without any additional uh, level of uh, trainings and et cetera, et cetera. Let's go to uh, health monitoring. Uh, I will show you how updated health monitoring uh, dashboard is designed and actually it's designed to improve uh, support services and uh, especially for system integrators, it allows to respond quickly to end users requests and provides the best support from their side and uh, for distributors, actually uh, health monitoring dashboard helps to support uh, system integrators, not every uh, distributor support system integrators and technical side, but anyway, uh, there are a lot of companies who provide great support uh, to SIs and uh, and help system integrators to deliver great project uh, for customers. So um, I will log into my cl NX cl cloud account. By the way, this system for uh, apartment building is based on Raspberry Pi. So it's really cheap server and uh, system integrator installed NX Witness, uh, NX Witness uh, server application on Raspberry Pi. As you can, you can see, there are not so slow and works great really. So NX Witness is really lightweight and you should check Okay, I am logging in. So, definitely you should use our NX Cloud account because with NX Cloud, uh, you can uh, connect to different system, not only uh, your local system, but uh, for example, if you have uh, 60 pharmacies and you should, uh, and you want to have uh, a direct connection to every, uh, from the 60 pharmacies list pharmacy, and you need to check the settings, you can use NX Cloud account and connect uh, to your all system available in your NX Cloud account. And as you can see, uh, in my account are available two systems. Uh, the first one is uh, the small one, and the second one is uh, our uh, network optics demo system. I will join to this to show you because it, it has uh, three servers, not only one server, and uh, it will give me a chance to provide you more details about the status of every server and everything uh, we can have uh, in our updated health monitoring dashboard. It's a little bit slow because I'm connecting uh, from other uh, city. So 
uh, settings in system administration you can manage all your users so as you can see there are so many users in our network optics demo system you can see uh, all the um, users uh, preferences and uh, statuses this uh, provide rights to manage the system so uh, we have if i'm not mistaken we have uh, five uh, user roles uh, like a standard user role to manage uh, annex but also you can create uh, a customized user role and share between your operators or for example security guys who are on the field so it's it's quite easy and system administration in system administration we can add connect system we can create uh, administrators we can enable or disable auto discovery devices cameras and servers or uh, other third party devices we can send statistics of uh, uh, warnings or uh, other statistics for developers we can also allow system optimize cameras and we can also activate uh, encryption of video traffic it, it, it's quite great so uh, the secure connections are also available here and as well as uh, from nx client from uh, nx witness desktop let's jump to information tab in this sorry it's low okay from the inter information tab we have and we can see all the information about our three servers warnings warnings from cameras errors about storage and about network all is here and it really saves a lot of time when we click to the server we see the status of the server cpu usage ram usage all is here public ip operation system status all is here and of course we can check the status of the cameras so this camera is offline we can see the server uh, ip address uh, vendor model everything is here so basically all information which is needed to provide the best support to customers is here system we see how many servers how many cameras storage locations users and version of nx witness vms servers uh, i covered this information so uh, when you just click on the server you see the status cpu usage ram usage how many threads how many channels connections ip address address everything is here for the storage all information is also in this tab and storage locations so we can see write rate write rate you can see total number of gigabits how many percentages used by vms and locations and the network interfaces we see ip addresses all the rates all the, so it's really great and you can switch between all the systems it also saves a lot of time okay let's jump to i showed you uh, an advantages of Chromium browser how to manage uh, camera settings here so let's jump to push notifications So push notifications. So currently NX Witness allows sending customized 
push notifications. It's an action uh, which is based on uh, any system event. So you can you choose event and you send uh, push notification to client, to NX client, or you can send a mobile notification on your mobile devices. I will show you an example uh, how NX from this camera, from central camera, uh, sends information uh, to my mobile device. Uh, how to set up a push notification? You can go to, uh, sorry, not local settings, system administration, and you choose events rules. There is another ways. You can click just on a camera, on camera rules. And you can filter to find send mobile notification. How I did this? I just click on an event to create an event. Um, you can choose. I, my preference was to show you on motion in the camera and uh, because of the motion I immediately receive information on my mobile device. You can choose soft trigger. You will have a button here. You can click this button if something happened and you should uh, notify uh, the guys who are on the field and they will receive. You can click soft trigger this button on, uh, and on a, a layout and all the guys who are connected to NX Cloud system, they will receive uh, notifications. So as you can find, you can see a lot of items to choose. I, I, uh, my preference was motion on the camera. Here in this step, you choose the cameras. I work with the central camera. You can also choose a schedule and action to do. You can create a bookmark, you can do HTTP request, you can execute PTZ reset so the camera will be in the following position. You can play sound. My preference is to show you send mobile notification. Here, we choose the roles. You can choose all the users in your current system. And we should also mark uh, a guy uh, who is connected to the NX cloud. Because if the system is not in a cloud, if your mobile device uh, is not connected with the NX cloud, you will not have a chance to receive uh, mobile notifications. Also, you can set up an interval of actions. I put 30 seconds, so you can put 10 minutes. And the customization. As you can see, I choose custom notification content. And I put test, body message, like push notification demonstration. And I also marked to add source device name and body. It means that I see that I receive push notification and I receive it on my mobile device from the central camera, like central camera in Russian. So let's check it. Uh, to show you this, uh, I will switch on my laptop camera and I will show you how uh, my mobile device receives these uh, notifications. Okay, start video. Hello, guys. Uh, it's the maximum window. <laughs> Stupid zoom. I don't know why, why this uh, window is so limited. Okay, but nevertheless. I have a chance to show it. Uh, here is our mobile application. Sorry, it's not so serious, uh, but this will show you how it really works. Uh, 
From the central camera, I should receive a notification when someone is crossing the street. I hope it will be very soon. Uh, where it is? Oh, here is a notification. When I click the notification, I see a moment when someone is crossing the street. Okay. One more time. Let's wait. Here it is. You see this customization, notification, and they choose, ah, I was late, sorry. Sorry guys, I do not have this uh, application to uh, to share with you my uh, screen on my mo mobile device, but uh, in this way you will see that it really works. Hope. And you see the activity on the camera. Huh? Smart is going. Someone is leaving. <laughs> Great. So it's it really works. Uh, it is a very nice feature. I know that uh, we received uh, so many uh, requests regarding push notifications and uh, it, uh, it could really save a lot of time for not only for the security but uh, for other reasons. So works great. Uh, I will uh, I will stop the video. So these were the main things uh, I wanted to share with you. Um, by the way, our team also added a new feature to manage uh, in-camera video analytics from Henva cameras. Uh, it's a pity, but I do not have a Henva camera here in this system because I have only uh, only my light, my, my side cameras. Um, as as you rem as you can remember, we support in camera video analytics uh, from Axis, Hanwa, uh, Digital Watchdog, uh, Hiken Dawa, and we are working to have uh, in camera analytics from Vivotech and Bosch. So it's it's quite great. It saves a lot of time. Uh, it's a powerful way to manage in camera video analytics. But uh, for uh, city surveillance, for enterprises projects, I prefer to use uh, third party uh, video analytics, which are developed by professional teams of software developers, because it's, it's more centralized and more interactive and it's really much better than in camera analytics. But it's a point uh, uh, to discuss and we can have a chance to discuss many hours regarding uh, in camera analytics and uh, video analytics developed by so party developers. Um, what I want to show you, uh, I, I, I know uh, you know this feature, but uh, for the zoom windows, which is quite great, you can move this zoom window, for example, for retail, it's quite great um, to follow the guy for C for just a person who is going somewhere to different cameras. So it's also saves the time. And uh, and the features and uh, why Enix, just a kind reminder that Enix uh, supports all the popular operation system. You can run uh, Enix server application on Windows uh, or you can use Ubuntu Linux and all these uh, different uh, servers on different operation systems can be merged and form one uh, centralized uh, system on different operation system. And as you have it, had the chance to notice, 
that for uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, they have, if I'm not mistaken, they have Linux. Uh, actually, I don't know Windows or Linux, but I'm connected from my Mac and it works great. And uh, we also support Mac for uh, NX desktop. Okay, guys. Um, these uh, were the main things. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, send me. I will be happy to reply. Also, if you would like to have uh, uh, like uh, an individual system demonstration, uh, for example, uh, to show you all the things we have to speak about all the uh, main advantages of Enix Witness, you can send me your request. I'm sure you see this email address, so you can send me just a request to let's let's do a demo day and time, and uh, I will find a time to answer all your questions uh, to provide you an online system demonstration, and we can have a discussion about your potential projects or what kind of help is needed from uh, NX engineers or from my side. Waiting, waiting for your questions. By the way, uh, if we have, uh, for example, six factories and from your central monitoring uh, office, we would like to see all the cameras from cameras which cover uh, perimeter protection, you can create a customized layout and put all the cameras from all the servers to this layout. You can manage all these cameras. So it also saves a lot of time. No questions from your side. So I think it's, it's quite easy, yeah? With these new features, nothing, nothing uh, serious hard to understand and get better understanding on how to uh, set up and check these features by yourself. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Please do not hesitate to send your questions and requests about the demo. If you have a specific uh, end user or system integrator who would like to test NX Witness, uh, they are welcome. You are welcome to request uh, demo licenses. As you can remember, we have four cameras, uh, 30 days license demo available on mynetworkoptics.com. I know it's four cameras. Uh, sometimes it's not enough and for some customers it's not serious so you can request more cameras just uh, send me an email with the details and I will provide you a demo license one more time mm, thank you for joining us uh, thank you for your time and uh, anything you need from uh, network optics engineers or from network optics uh, overall, let, please let us know. Bye guys, thank you. Have a good day. Take care and be safe. Thank you very much.